Should I study now or go to play with my friends? Should I practice maths now or read my science textbook? Oof, I don't feel like studying now. Exams are still far away. Let me watch some TV. Oh my God, my exam is tomorrow. I don't know anything. What will happen? This happens to all of us, right? What's the solution? Make a timetable. I'm going to show you the simple steps how to make a study timetable. Trust me, if you make a timetable and follow it, your life is going to be super easy. So come on, pick up a pen and paper and let's make a timetable together. Just like you have a timetable in school, you also need a timetable at home. Let's say you come back from school at 2 p.m. or 3 p.m. You have lunch and take some rest. Now you have time from 4 to 9 p.m. or 4 to 10 p.m. That's six hours. Let's keep one hour for your play and one hour for dinner. So you still have three to four hours. Now that's a lot of time. I would suggest you to divide it into four slots. And so you can do four subjects in one day. So keep one slot for mathematics, one for science, one for languages like English and Hindi, and one slot for social sciences. In these slots, you can do your homework, your studies, practice or revision for a test. Subject like mathematics, you should practice every day. So make sure you put it into your timetable. That will make maths practice a habit. Now, a lot of students have confusion. Where should they practice maths from? There are a lot of books out there. Out of all those books, I would highly recommend the Oswald books, CBSC one for all books. These books are designed based on the latest CBSE syllabus. The books contain revision notes, exam questions, including previous year's board examination questions. The books have a lot of questions for you to practice and the toppers answers as well. The books have mind maps and self-assessment tests. So I think they are great for your practice and for your revision. For science, you can also use the Oswald books CBSE one for all science book. I'll put a link to these Oswald books below. So do check it out. And remember, it's very important to practice a lot of questions and the best strategy is to start early. In our school timetable, we have periods of 40 minutes or 50 minutes. Now, why not a one hour or two hour period? Based on research, they have found that our brain loses concentration and focus after about 40 minutes. That's why you should also divide your study time into one hour slots. Study in a burst of 50 minutes. After that, take a five minutes rest and five minutes to switch to the next work. Even Elon Musk, the founder of Tesla and SpaceX, does his work in bursts of time. And be flexible with the slots in your timetable. For example, let's say you have an exam on science the next day. Then use most of your slots to study science. So remember to study in bursts of 50 minutes with full energy and then take a five minute break to relax your mind. Your timetable should not be only for studies. There should be fun and relaxation in the timetable. That's why I like to call it a study and fun timetable. Keep some time for fun every day. Go out to play, listen to music, singing, dancing, whatever is your favorite activity. Do some physical activity and exercise. It's good for you. My friend in school who had the best memory later told me the secret. He used to go for jogging every day. Now I wish I had followed that. So have a timetable even for your weekend where you add more fun and some time for your studies. While making a study timetable, a common question is what time should I study? Should I study early in the morning, in the evening or late at night? The answer is it depends on you. Everybody's body and mind is different. For example, I'm a day person. I like to record my videos during the day because my brain doesn't work very early in the morning. 
it takes time to boot like a computer and I can't think properly late in the night. So I'm a day person. I don't take afternoon naps. But you might be different. Maybe your brain works best early in the morning. Or you like to take an afternoon nap and study more in the evening and night. That's okay. Do what suits you. But make sure you're getting enough sleep and rest every day because that's best for your body and mind. You don't want to be studying with a tired mind. So remember to plan your studies when your energy and concentration is high. A timetable is really important since it creates a habit. Here's my favorite quote on habit. You'll never change your life until you change something you do daily. The secret of your success is found in your daily routine. For example, Sundar Pichai, who's the CEO of Google, follows the same morning routine every day. And he even has the same thing for breakfast every day. Einstein had identical suits to wear. Mark Zuckerberg and Steve Jobs wear the same type of clothes every day. Now, why are they doing this? These successful people don't want to waste time thinking and deciding what to do or what to wear. They have made it a habit. Similarly, if you have a study timetable, you won't have to think what to study and what not to, or when to study and when to relax. So your timetable will become your habit like brushing your teeth or taking bath. So put your life on autopilot with a timetable and you'll see how easy it becomes. And finally, for the bonus tip, on how to follow your timetable. We all create a timetable, but it's really difficult to follow it, right? So how do we do it? The trick is to reward yourself. Discuss your timetable with your parents and tell them if you follow it for a week, you can get some reward from them. For example, some ice cream on the weekend, or they'll take you out for dinner or a good book. I'm sure they will agree. If they see the change in you and that you're following your timetable and studying well, they will definitely reward you. And if you do this week after week, it's going to become a habit. So you won't even have to ask them for a reward because your timetable will become your habit. So go ahead, make a timetable and follow it. Friends, hope you found this video useful. So do hit the like button and do share it out with your friends. And if you have some other good tips on how to make a timetable, do put it in the comments below. And do check out the Oswald books, CBSC one for all books. I'll put the links below. We also have a website manuchaacademy.com where you'll get full courses on physics, chemistry, biology, maths, and computer coding. So do check it out. And we also have our Android app. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and here's wishing you all the best with making your study and fun timetable and following it. And you'll see how easy your life becomes. Thanks for watching.